hello guys welcome to our 24 into 7 youtube channel that is gyan 24 into 7 today i am going to discuss labeling so this is the first part of the video in this video i have discussed the outline of this lecture is object and usage of labeling definitions of labeling types of label used in labeling adjustment of the dumpy level then labeling stops so in this lecture i cover five topics and the other things like method of labeling and the error at are discussed in the other videos so let's start with labeling labeling is the art of determining the relative vertical distance of the different point on the surface of the earth therefore in labeling the measurement are taken only in the vertical plane so this is the figure how labeling is done so this is one of the surveyor using dumpy level and reads the reading using staff i saw one how back side and fore side taken so this is back side this is fore side this will be discussed in the earlier slide okay then comes to the object of labeling what is the objective of the labeling first to determine the elevation of given point with respect to a datum to establish the points of the required height above or below the datum line then what is the usage of labeling labeling is done for the following purposes usage of labeling are to determine or to set the plinth level of a building or second one to decide or set the road railway canal or sewage line alignment to determine or to set various level of dams tower etc to determine the capacity of a reservoir so definitions first labeling labeling you know well the art of determining the relative height of different points on or below the surface of the earth is known as labeling thus labeling deals with the measurement in the vertical plane then comes to the level surface what is level surface level surface parallel to the mean spiral surface of the earth is said to be a level surface such a surface is obviously curved the water surface of a still lake is also considered to be a level surface level line any line lying on a level surface is called a level line this line is normal to the plumb line direction of gravity at all point i shown these definitions in the figure this is the figure in this this is the mean sea level line horizontal line vertical line and level line here so horizontal plane horizontal plane defined as any plane tangential to the level surface this is the level line this is the horizontal line this line this plane is tangential to the level line so definition simple so any tangential any plane tangential to the level surface at any point is known as horizontal plane it is perpendicular to the plumb line which is indicated indicates the direction of gravity then comes to the horizontal line any line lying on the horizontal plane is said to be a horizontal line it is a straight line tangential to the level line so it, it will be shown in the figure in the vertical line the, <coughs> the direction indicated by a <coughs> sorry guys <coughs> the direction indicated by a plumb line is known as the vertical line the line is perpendicular to the horizontal line <coughs> vertical plane any plane passing through the vertical line is known as vertical plane <coughs> something problem guys hold to me <coughs> then comes to the next slide what is datum or surface line this is an imaginary surface or level line 
from which the vertical distance of different points above or below this line are measured. In India, the datum adopted for the Great Trigonometrical Survey, that is GTS, is the mean sea level at Karachi. So, reduced level. What is reduced level? The vertical distance of a point above or below the datum line is known as reduced level of that point. The reduced level of point may be positive or negative according to the point is above or below the datum. Line of collimation. It is an imaginary line passing through the intersection of crosshair at the diaphragm and the optical center of the object glass and its continuation. <coughs> it is also known as line of sight. Then comes to the axis of the telescope. What is axis of the telescope? This is, <coughs> this is an imaginary line passing through the optical center of the object glass and the optical center of the eyepiece. Then the axis of the bubble tube. It is an imaginary line tangential to the longitudinal curve of the bubble tube at its middle point. So this is the simple definitions you remember that when you are doing leveling. Then come to the benchmark. This is the important definition. Many times comes in the examination. These are the fixed point or the marks of known reduced level determined with reference to the datum line. These are very important marks. They serve as reference point for finding the reduced level of new point or for conducting leveling operation in project involving roads, highway etc. Benchmarks may be of four types. CITS, permanent, temporary, arbitrary. Then GTS benchmark. These benchmarks are established by the survey of India department at large interval all over the country. The values of reduced level, the rela relevant position and the number of benchmark are given in a catalog published by this department. Permanent benchmark. These are the fixed point or marks established by different government, depart government departments like PWID, Railway, irrigation, etc. The reduced level of these points are determined with reference to the GTS benchmark and are kept on permanent point like the plinth of the building, parapet of a bridge or culvert and so on. Sometimes they are kept on underground pillars. Then this is the image of GTS benchmark. You see how GTS benchmark looks. Then arbitrary benchmark. When the reduced levels of some fixed point are assumed, they are termed arbitrary benchmark. These are adopted in a small survey operation when only the undulation of the ground surface is required to be determined. Fourth one, temporary benchmark. When the benchmarks are established temporarily at the end of a day's work, they are said to be temporary benchmark. They are generally made on the root of a tree, the parapet of the nearby culvert or the forelock post or a similar place. Then one term also comes in living that is backside reading, BS. That is called as BS backside. What is backside reading? This is the first staff reading taken in any setup of the instrument after the labeling has been perfectly done. This reading is always taken on a point of known RL that is on a benchmark or change point. This is the figure in which you see the different reading I have taken. In this figure, benchmark, intermediate station, height of instrument, foresight, change point are shown here. So, after backside, foresight reading is necessary. So, it is the last staff reading 
in any setup of the instrument and indicates the shifting of latter then intermediate sight reading it is any other staff reading between the back sight and fore sight in the same setup of the instrument so from intermediate sight reading we take the difference between the back sight and fore sight at same setup change point what is change point this is the point indicates the shifting of the instrument at this point and foresight is taken from one setting and a back sight from the next setting height of instrument when the level when the leveling instrument is properly leveled and the reduced level of the line of collimation is known as the height of the instrument this is obtained by adding the back sight reading to the reduced level of the benchmark or the change point on which the staff reading was taken focusing the operation of setting the eyepieces and the object glass a proper distance apart for clear vision of the object is known as focusing this is done by turning the focusing screw or <coughs> clockwise or anti clockwise one terms come parallax <coughs> the the, uh, the apparent movement of the image relative to the crosshair is known as parallax this occurs due to the imperfect focusing when the image does not fall in the plane of the diaphragm one terms comes diaphragm so i talk you in the leveling stuff section then comes to the types of level used in leveling following are the types of different levels used in leveling in surveying first one dumpy level y level cushing level tilting level cooks reversible level and automatic level these are the levels different type of levels dumpy level dumpy level is the most commonly used instrument in leveling in this level the telescope is restricted against movement in its horizontal plane and telescope is fixed to its support a bubble tube is provided on the top of the telescope but however the leveling head can be rotated in horizontal plane with the telescope the telescope is internal focusing telescope is a metal tube contain four main parts as given below first objective lens negative lens diaphragm eye pieces then this is a dumpy level image of dumpy level then what is objective lens objective lens should be made as the combination of crown ground glass and flint glass because of this the defect like spherical abbreviation and chromatic abbreviation can be eliminated a thin layer of coating which has smaller refractive index than glass is provided on the objective lens to reduce the loss due to reflection negative lenses negative lenses located coaxial to the objective lens so that the optical axis for both lenses is same diaphragm diaphragm is fitted inside the main tube which contains crosshair vertical and horizontal and these are adjusted by captain head skew the crosshairs are made of dark metal and the filament wire which are inserted in the diaphragm ring in exact position for a steady leveling purpose extra two horizontal crosshair are provided above or below the horizontal line here different type of crosshair i have seen first one you see the first one in many the second third these are the type of crosshair you see when you do leveling different instruments so different type of cross diaphragm so these are the types of diaphragm as you are aware about the different types of diaphragms then comes to the eyepiece eyepiece lenses enable the ability to sight the object together with crosshair the image seen through eyepiece is magnified and inverted some eyepieces 
erect the image into normal view and those are called as erecting eyepieces then comes to the second level that is y level y level or i level consist y shape frame which support the telescope telescope can be removed from the y shape supported by releasing clamp screw provided these y shape frame are arranged to vertical spindle which helps to cause the rotation of telescope compared to dumpy level adjustment can be rapidly tested in y level but there may be a chance of frictional wear to open part of level this is the y level you see the y level then cussing level in case of cussing level telescope is restricted against rotation in its longitudinal axis and it is non removable but the object end and the eyepiece end can be interchangeable and reversible tilting level tilting level consists a telescope which enable for the horizontal rotation as well as rotation about 4 degree in its vertical plane centering of bubble can be easily done in this type of level but for every setup bubbles each to be centered with the help of tilting screw the main advantage of tilting level is it is useful when the few observations are taken are to be taken with the one setup of level then cooks reversible level cooks reversible level is the combination of dumpy level and y level in this instrument the telescope can be reversed without rotation the instrument rotation of the instrument collimation error can be eliminated in this case because the bubble left and the bubble right reading of the telescope automatic level automatic level is like the dumpy level in this case the telescope is fixed to its support circular speed can be attached to the side of the telescope for approximate leveling for more accurate leveling the compensator is attached inside the telescope now comes to the adjustment of the dumpy level the temporary adjustment have been made at every instrument setting and preparatory to taking observation with the instrument following steps have been followed first setting up the level this operation includes the fixing the instrument on the tripod and leveling the instrument approximately by the legs adjustment second leveling up in this steps accurate leveling has been done with the help of foot screw and with reference to the plane level this purpose is to make the vertical axis truly vertical and perpendicular to the line of sight the manner of leveling the instrument with three leveling screw are following first one loose the clamp turn the instrument until the longitudinal axis of the plate level is roughly parallel to the line joining any two of the leveling screw second hold this two a and b between the thumb and the first finger of this hand and turn them simultaneously so that the thumbs moves either towards each other or away from each other until the bubble comes in center area the bubble will move in the direction of the movement of the left thumb third one turn the instrument by 90 degree leveling screw and then turn the third leveling screw c the third leveling screw c should be turned in such a way that the bubbles comes in center fourth one turn the instrument against and respect the ever procedure the instrument must be level in any direction mean the bubble must be in center this a and b are a b c are the three foot screw here you turn uh, the Put a screw A and B in the same in the 
same side a and b the direction is given both move at one time both are simultaneously right screw move anti clockwise clockwise at same times until the this speed level bubble comes in the center then after setting this speed level then and uh, the foot screw c is move uh, is rotating rotating until the bubble in the speed level comes to the center so this in this type i adjust the dumpy level then elimination of parallax how we eliminate the parallax parallax is a condition arising when the image formed by the object is not in the plane of the cross hair it has been done by rotating the eyepiece for clear cross hair and by rotating focusing screw provided for objective focus so in this way parallax can be eliminated then what is labeling staff along with a label a labeling staff is also required for labeling the labeling staff is a rectangular rod having graduation the staff is provided with a metal shoe at its bottom to be to resist to wear and tear the foot of the shoe represents zero reading labeling staff may be divided in two groups first self staff reading self reading staff then sub target staff self reading staff this staff reading is directly read by the instrument man through telescope in a metric system staff 1 meter length is divided into 200 subdivision each of uniform thickness of 5 mm all divisions are marked with black in white background meters and decimeters are written in red colors the following are three types of self reading staff self reading staffs can be of uh, each of three types first one solid staff it is a single piece of 3 meter folding staff a staff of two piece each of 2 meter which can be folded one over another third one telescopic staff a staff of three piece with upper one solid and the lower one lower two hollow the upper part can slides into the central one and the central part is go into the lower part each length can be pulled up and held in position by means of brass spring the total length may be of 4 to 5 4 or 5 meter target staff if the sighting distance is more instrument man find it difficult to read self reading staff in such case a target staff shown in figure may be used target staff is similar to self reading staff but provided with a movable target target is a circular or oval shape painted red or white in the alternate quadrant it is fitted with a vernier at the center the instrument man direct the person holding target staff to move the target till its center is in the horizontal line of sight then the target man reads the target and it is recorded then this is the diagram i show the self reading staff telescopic staff and target staff self reading staff is you know this is of single then this is the two so telescopic staff then the target staff this is the two combination of two or three then this is the vernier attached to the red side white red target staff center line so in this way you identify what type of staffs you are going to use so thank you guys so please subscribe my channel gyan24 into 7 for more latest update so click on the bell icon for latest notification all videos i publish all the civil engineering videos gate is in the future lecture i am going to publish here so please subscribe thank you guys for watching my video thank you